And I know what you're thinking. As a layperson, you're like, oh, the judge is supposed to follow the law, call balls and strikes like a referee. And I want to give you an example. There was this one judge. There are actually many like this. And he required all defendants to personally appear at their arraignment. That's the first court date. And this is crazy because the Florida Rules of Criminal Procedure, they clearly state, and that's 3.160A, our clients do not need to appear at arraignment, right? The judge ignored the law and said, I want your people here anyway. So we were like, okay, our people will be here. But one attorney said, no, no, no. I'm following the waiver of appearance. I instructed my client not to be here. Now everyone knows this judge wants them to be here, even though the law says they don't need to be here. And you know what happened, right? The client didn't appear and the judge issued a warrant for his client's arrest. No bond warrant, which is kind of a jerk move. I could be more crude about it. Jerk move. We're talking about the case of Tishner versus Cameron Sheriff. And thank God that the appellate court stepped in and said, look, judge, they quashed that warrant and said, you can't be issuing warrants for your fake mandatory appearance rule because your mandatory appearance rule violates the privileges that our clients have under 3.160. I imagine this judge sort of saying to himself, it's like that Mel Brooks movie, History of the World Part One, where <laughs> Mel Brooks kind of walked around saying, it's good to be the king. That's what this judge was saying, it's good to be the king. And it's sad that this dude had to sit in jail on no bond if he did. It's not fair. He, I doubt he was compensated for this wrongful arrest. But this Tishner case and others like it are trying to straighten out these judges that think they can do whatever they want. It's contrary to the Florida rules. This happens more than you might think. And that's unfortunate. That's what we defense attorneys have to deal with.